Hmm. So, I've been writing a story on my first part, and I have all the ideas. Got it down on text when I can. No? no? <clears throat> Anyways, uh, before I start, uh, please excuse any background, background noise, background noise. We don't want background noise on YouTube now. We'll get banned. Um, <laughs> <coughs> so yeah, my nine's got a TV thing, computer. I'm loud and they're watching soap and all people stuff. Oh my gosh, I just don't know what this. Um, anyway, um, just. No, I'm really bad at voices as well if I haven't said that yet. So, yeah. Enjoy, I suppose. Well, if, if you enjoy it, then tell me and I might make more. Um, you know, readings. It's not on DA yet. I haven't got a title for it yet. I suppose it's the uh, prologue, I guess you could call it. I don't know. But just listen and yeah. If you want more, tell me you want more. If you don't want any more, then you know, tell me. For some reason, my nose has started running. That's brilliant, isn't it? Come back, nose. Um, <laughs> horrible jokes. Um, so, please enjoy the video. Please. <laughs> um, so. As Bonbon stood there, waiting for Lyra, she held a magazine in her hooves for a moment and stared. It was old and faded and full of the Canterlot celebrities from two years before the accident. Every pony knew it wasn't an accident at all, but that didn't stop anybody from calling it that. She put down the magazine, the memories of how everything had seemed so perfect for every pony before pain her deeply. She walked round to the dusty mirrors and seats with the saints. This place looked familiar, as if Bonbon had been there a few times before. Of course, she mumbled involuntarily. She looked around quickly, looking for any pony who had heard her, if any at all. As usual though, no pony was ever around. She then looked around again, going back to her original train of thought. The old main dresses, she thought to herself. She sighed quietly and trod carefully over the glass to the broken mirror. She looked into the fragments on the ground, watching herself carefully as if she was some pony elf who could hurt, hurt her and put Lyra in danger. Some movement caught the top of her eye as she looked down. She looked up quickly in a slight panic. It was her and the broken pieces of the mirror. They were still perched in the frame. Lately, tension had been a large problem on their minds. I don't know the dog. Not just her and Lyra, but the whole group. All six of them had been worrying lately. Especially Derby. When Dinky released the when the raiders from a few weeks ago had taken her hostage, she was only fifteen. Poor thing. But it happened, and it happened to her. That's all that matters now. 
Bonbon bon kept thinking about Dinky and what they should do for her. Lyra had suggested the abortion, but no pony seemed very fond of it, especially Dinky. Bonbon bon opened one of the drawers under the sink. It revealed a pair of scissors with black handles. The blades were still quite clean and had a lack of rust. This was the first in a long time that she had seen some metal without any breast on it. Yeah, that's that's the first part of it, I suppose. Um, I tried. I I I did mess up a little bit, but you know, my throat is dry all of a sudden and it hurts. So I'm gonna go get a drink because I've had. Two cartons of like juice today, isn't it? I don't know. They were like straw carton things. I don't know. I like them. Shut up. <laughs> I'm not even sure. Well. Anyway, this story doesn't have a title yet. Um, I, I'd really appreciate some help with it. I mean, like if anyone's interested, you know. If anyone likes this, you know. Someone to proofread my stuff. I'm um, I'm not sure. Oh, and sorry about the dog barking earlier. <laughs> I don't know. She's been insane tonight. Just random barking. She's insane. So yeah, I shall I shall leave you now. Rah, 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 rah. No. Um, yeah. I haven't written much. I, it probably isn't, it probably isn't really an A4 page yet. But, yeah. I'm really bad at writing, and um, if anyone likes this, then yeah, um, yeah. I can't do Bonbon's voice. Also, anyone who watches this, I just remembered. Uh, Lightning Bearer, I will leave a link to his. Even chart in the description. <clears throat> and also, well, Lightning Bearer, before I get distracted, Lightning Bearer is doing. Well, there's an audio drama happening. And I'm not sure if he has yet, but. Yeah, I think he still needs a doctor. But I'm not sure. And some of the. Rules still need filling, as far as I'm aware, or anyway. <clears throat> yeah, as soon as I need to start reading, my voice is just dried up. I don't know if you're hearing this, but I can hear my tongue. That's, that's how dried up it is. So I'm gonna go get a drink, and I might record my next video, I might, I don't know. Yeah. So, I will see you later. Oh my god, what the hell was that? That's not my outro. <sighs> Goodbye, people. I, uh, I find you. Yes, that's the bay. Uh, breakfast. Breakfast! No. Um, <clears throat> very original, Shira, very original. Ow! Yeah, boobs. Um, bye, I suppose. <laughs>